right, basically it's about half past ten on Sunday, uh, Sunday morning. She goes to show our job is not your typical Monday to Friday nine to five type of job. We've received a, a panic call from a young lady. She says there's a possible brown house snake or a red lipped herald or something. She seems rather panic stricken. We don't want her to harm the snake. So we've got to get as fast as we possibly can to try and sort the situation out. Right, we're here. Let's jump out and try and sort this out without anything getting hurt. So we've just had a word with the owner. She says that her dog was barking in the front. She went to have a look at it and there seems to be a rather large brown snake there. So we're going to go have a look and see what it is. See if we can get it out of here peacefully. Now I've just recently arrived on the scene. Basically what you can see we have here is an ideal resting ground for a snake. We've got warm conditions, it's nice and moist, there's nice shaded areas, lots of rocks and crevices where snakes will typically be hiding. So we like to do it. Gotta be very careful walk around. We don't know yet what we're dealing with. It could be harmless, it could be fatal. Normally in these conditions, I would not recommend you walk into these areas if you're not experienced. However, we have been doing this for many years. Areas like this with the, with the thick leaves and brush is typically where they would hide. Okay. It's not what we thought. It's a Snyder slider. Basically, these often get confused with red lip heralds and people think they can take care of these situations by themselves. However, it's a completely different world. What we're dealing with here is a highly venomous snake that is extremely stupid. Mark, we need you to get around the back and distract it so I can get hold of its neck. You can get it to turn around and face you for a second. Right. Up the neck. Up the neck. Bring it round. Bring it round. Advice to one. This one. You're gonna need to get the bag. Right. Okay. Let's try to get away. Basically, why I said this snake is a rather stupid specimen is they tend to be extremely vicious. Mark, get the eyes, get the eyes. So once their eyes are covered and their line of sight is blocked, they're relatively uh, defenseless and they just lie still. So from here, easy game. Get up to the van, take it back to the wilderness, set it free. job. That's how you make a living, conserve nature all at the same time.